What's up everyone, your friendly neighborhood onesie guy here and welcome to my first Marvel Snap video. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic week so far and that this month of March has been treating you well too. Now in Marvel Snap we've gotten a ton of amazing variants, each month in different styles from chibi to venomized and nullified to classic 90s and upcoming Earth 8311 animal variants which I am looking forward to quite a lot. That being said, I still wish there were some variants in the game showcasing some of my favorite interpretations of characters. So here are some custom variants I'd like to see in Marvel Snap. First up, Days of Future Past Wolverine. Now, when I heard this March season was going to be Days of Future Past, I was extremely excited as it's one of my favorite X-Men comics, so much so that I actually own the graphic novel. I was even more overjoyed when I heard that there'd be a new Wolverine variant in the Battle Pass and even though I love the one that we got, I was also disappointed that it wasn't this. This is one of the most iconic images in Marvel Comics after all. It's possible that they didn't want us to, would want to use it as the original image as you can see here includes Kitty Pride too. However, I'm sure they could have adjusted the art to fit this in the game. And it's still something I hope to see one day. Mystic Armor Doctor Doom most people think of Doctor Doom as the megalomaniac tech genius ruler of Latveria and not much else. However, what most people don't know is that his familial roots lie in Romani magic. So what you have is an evil genius who can use both technology and magic. And in this variant, we show off all of that. The arm he's wearing here is made of leather that leather being made from the skin and flesh of his childhood love interest Valeria. He struck a deal with the Hazarath Three, a trio of demons who amuse themselves through granting power in exchange for sacrifices. So in exchange for Valeria's soul, they gave Doom this armor, greatly enhancing his mystical powers. I think it would look pretty sick, especially once in its animated form. Green Goblin Earth 1610, also known as the Ultimate Universe. So any of you who have seen the Into the Spider-Verse movie uh, will be somewhat familiar with this version as he battles both Peter Parker and Miles Morales. In this universe, after finding out Spider-Man got his powers after being bitten by a spider injected with the Oscorp variation of the Super Soldier Serum, uh, the one that gave Captain America his abilities, Norman Osborn theorized that since the serum combined spider DNA and gave Peter Parker abilities of the spider, if Norman himself were to take the serum combined with his own DNA, he could become a heightened version of himself. The experiment went horribly long and Norman was transformed into a grotesque demon-like monster. This is by far my favorite version of the Green Goblin and I would love to see this in Marvel Snap. Unstoppable Colossus. During an event known as Fear Itself, Colossus touches the Crimson Gem of the Demon Sidorak, the gem that gives Juggernaut his powers, gaining the demon's favor in place of his sister, Magic. Attaining the same mystical power that enhanced Juggernaut, Russia's favorite mutant hero became the unstoppable artist of destruction. I just think this version of Colossus is so badass that I'd want to see some form of him in Marvel Snap variant or possibly his own specific card with his own special abilities. And last up we have the Thing Yancey Street version. Now as a youth Ben Grimm formally led the Yancey Street gang and other members who have retained their loyalty into adulthood seemingly resent him for that and says he's sold out by leaving the neighborhood and pursuing a higher education and standard of living culminating in his position as one of the Air Force's most accomplished pilots and later as a world famous adventurer. This image was done for Marvel Masterpieces which was a collectible card series in the 90s by the amazing artist Nelson De Castro, and it just gives one little insight into the normalcy that superheroes often have to deal with 
and I think this would be a great addition to the current thing variants. So there you go, my first draft of custom variants for Marvel Snap. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Should I do more and make this a series maybe? Let me know. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and look out for more new content coming later this week. I wish you guys a good morning, good afternoon, good evening or good night, wherever you're watching this from. And until next time, let that geek flag fly.